Now, the past couple of days, we've seen Bien speaking about quite a bit. In fact, the past couple of weeks, he's been taking up a lot of interviews where he's been talking about his life. And he has a few beefs here and there that he was clarifying. But now he's clarifying and telling us how much money they made out of Soul Fest. One of the biggest concerts we actually saw from Saudi Soul. And we saw that the ticket prices were actually pretty, pretty pricey. But we didn't anticipate the actual figures that were to be told that that um, actual festival uh, actually garnered right so he says that according to him the ticket sales alone made 70 million kenya shillings 70 million from ticket sales alone this is not to add the endorsements that they had not to add the merchandise that they had at the event that they actually sold and not to add the sponsorships that they actually had from the show so you can imagine how big of a concert it was how much people actually loved how to soul and how much money they took home because wow 70 million is not small change it's not small change like even after you pay the band even after you pay the whole crew even after you pay management you still are left with quite a chunk of change so it was quite a nice retirement fund for them i'm happy for them or at least a nice ending to saudi soul and a nice way to end it in terms of the money he actually is currently touring europe he has a european tour go going on and he is obviously doing his new album which is called alusa um and and i'm very honestly excited for him he's doing really really well not only has he alusa why are you topless is the album that he's been uh touring and singing um songs from really nice album i really love my sherry among many other songs on the album so what do you think do you think that at 70 million they should have done maybe one more or is that the reason why they did so many because they kept making so much money let us know on the number 0770 79 366 moving